How to Complete Your Employee's Performance Plan From your employee portal, click Create Performance Plan for the employee whose plan you wish to work on. This will bring you to the employee's new performance plan screen. The employee's name should be near the top of the screen. You will also see basic instructions in light blue, followed by tabs for each of the sections of the performance plan. The first section includes a list of helpful links and guidelines, as well as a detailed timeline of the performance cycle. To go to the next section, click Next at the bottom of the screen. This will take you to the Institutional Goal section. All you need to do in this section is enter the weight for each goal. Keep in mind that the total weight for this section should be 50. People Admin does not check the math for you, so please be sure to double check on your own. You may also use the comments boxes if you would like to add further clarification or examples to an institutional goal. Keep in mind this is optional. Finally, if your employee does not have supervisory responsibilities, simply place a check in the Remove Entry box of the supervision goal to remove it from his or her performance plan. Click Next to continue to the next section, which is Individual Goals. In this section, you should enter your employees three to five individual goals for the upcoming cycle. To make this section easier, we recommend typing these goals in advance, either in a Word document or a PDF. Then, simply copy and paste them into the performance plan when you're ready. After adding the first goal, click Add Entry to add additional goals. Again, make sure the total weight for individual goals equals 50. Click Next to continue to the next section, the Talent Development Plan. This section is where you document your employees' upcoming talent development activities for the year. Simply type the development opportunity in the box, and to add more activities, click Add Entry. Don't worry if you don't have all the talent development activities planned at this point, you can come back and add additional activities throughout the cycle. Once you're done here, click Next to go to the final section. From this screen, we recommend clicking the various tabs in order to double check the weights of the institutional and individual goals. Remember, the total weight of each section should be 50%. To save a draft of the performance plan so you can return to it another time, click Saved Draft at the bottom of the page. You'll know that you saved successfully by the green box at the top of the screen. You can do this anytime throughout the performance planning process. Once you have finalized the performance plan, click Complete to submit to your supervisor for approval. Check the box at the top of the page to see if you submitted successfully. If the performance plan was not completed properly, the box will be red. It will prompt you to go back and fix your mistake. After submitting successfully, a green box will appear at the top of the screen. This means that the performance plan has been sent to your supervisor for approval. Once your supervisor has approved it, it will be sent to the employee for acknowledgement. For more tutorials on using Full Cycle Performance on People Admin, click the links below. Don't forget to visit our website for additional tools and resources.